Hi, I'm Shraddha Kadakia and I specialize in commercial photography. I'm even the founder of Just Click Image Making Company. I picked up my first camera at the age of 16 and photography is not just a passion anymore, but a full-time profession. On Shoot It Right, we'll be running through every aspect of photography which will help all you budding photographers to shed their amateur tag and move on to the next level. We even have a click tip of the day, so stay tuned! We all keep spending our time learning about photography and camera. We all even know which is the latest camera launched in the market, but very few people know the importance and details about lenses. Camera without lenses a body without soul. So, on Shoot It Right, today we are going to be learning about every aspect of lenses which will help you to capture the right image which you have always thought about. Lenses are classified into three basic categories Standard, Wide and Telephoto Standard lens captures the image exactly the way how a human eye would view. It's known as normal lens and the focal length is approximately 50 to 55 degrees. Wide angle lens is usually used for covering wider area, ideally used for landscapes. Any lens which has focal length less than a standard lens is known as wide angle lens. Telephoto lenses are those lenses which has focal length higher than the standard lens. These lenses are ideally used for capturing wildlife. Some lenses have range of focal length. This helps you to zoom in and zoom out. Such lenses are called as varifocal lenses. Lenses which have fixed focal length are called as prime lenses. These lenses are better than varifocal lenses as the picture quality is better. It's because there are less amount of glasses inside. Minimum focus distance is nothing but the shortest distance between the camera and the subject. Some lenses are available with a minimum focus distance of 1.2 feet. These lenses are called as macro lenses. Macro lenses are usually used to capture close-up of a flower or an insect. The minimum and maximum aperture depends on the lens what you are using. The lens which has F numbers which are below F3.2 are called as fast lens. These lens helps you to capture high shutter speed images in low light conditions. Some lenses have an option of autofocus mode on them. Another great feature what Canon has is image stabilizer and what Nikon has is vibration reduction. This helps you to reduce handshake and capture sharper images. Let us now go out and capture a scene using standard, wide and telephoto lens for you to understand this more clearly. So quick recap. Today we learn basic classification of lenses difference between the prime and varifocal lens, effects what you can achieve using macro lens and the beloved anti-shake feature on your lens. Quite a lot of information on lenses, right? Let's end it with our click tip of the day. Most of the time, people feel that you need to have that expensive lens to get the right picture. Well, that's not true. Invest wisely, capture smartly. Portrait photography fans would want to consider to buy a 50mm prime lens at f1.8 which is easily available in the market for just $100. Here we complete our episode for lenses. To learn more about photography, do subscribe to us. Please leave your comments and feedbacks. Happy clicking!